Hello, I'm Dequoise, and welcome to the video. Today, I will be covering how to defeat Duke Fishron as your first hard mode boss. Uh, I would not recommend using solely this guide for this fight, mostly due to the fact that it is, a, it is ridiculously challenging. But still, this is meant to help. This is... I will be using a relatively unique strategy revolving around a mix of summoner and melee, which are normally the two classes that tend to not mix well. But in this case, they they like comp they combo together amazingly. I will be spider armor. The accessories and armor I will be using is spider armor. A frog leg and throws mostly mobility accessories and one accessory for each class. In this case, a pygmy necklace and a berserker's glove. As well as that, I will be using a relatively large amount of buffs for, well, what I, compared to what I would normally use, because I will be using an endurance, a flax, or swiftness, iron skin, re regen, and wrath. All these potions, especially the Flask of Ichor, will drastically help you in fighting Duke Fishron. I will be using two weapons, the Blade Staff and a Shadow Flame Knife. Now, oh, I just know. Alright, uh, I actually just remembered. When I came up with the strategy, it was when the would drop from Enchanted Swords. But now they are dropped from the Queen Slime, so second free, so second hard mode boss. But still, you'll have the ridiculous Duke Fishron gear or to carry you throughout the mech bosses, plant terror, and basically everything that is difficult. So a blade staff and a shadow flame knife. Though the, this might seem like an odd combination of weapons, the this. Though this may seem like an odd combination of weapons, you'll you'll see how they synergy well later. Uh, I I do not know why I have an inferno potion on me, but I but it would help if you did have one. All right, well enough talking. Now on to the fight. As you can see, the frog leg it is all. As you can see, the frog leg is already contributing. It's very important to constantly keep Ikor in the boss so that. The knives can do, so that the knives don't do one damage. Unless they already, wait, did they change the Duke's defense? Anyway, the knives, the knives and the shat, well, the combination of knives keep it, can keep constant damage on the boss with their hot, with, combined with the Ichor, or in the knives high, e damp defense reduction, get, means that Duke Fishrock's normally relatively high defense is, is is completely nullified. Unless you're dumb. And yeah. Duke Fit this is a relatively this is a very active and this is, in this fight you, the player has to be constantly active to, to survive. Relying mostly the on just gener Relying mostly on the high mobility given by all, you know, given by all the mobility accessories that are equipped. Other than that, this is a relatively, this fight, it is pretty difficult, but not quite as difficult as some other early fights, like the Empress of Light.
Yeah, I chose a mix of melee and ranger, mostly due to not having to worry about ammo. Though, because I don't want... Mostly because for every second of this, this fight that will last at least eight minutes, you, you're you going to want to be firing your weapon. And, and, and the Shadow Flame Knife is really the only... Is really the best option for that. Since it doesn't require damage, it, it's very good at inflicting decor, and it's just generally good at what it's supposed to do. Now, uh, Duke Fisheron has a fairly simple attack pattern, mostly following, mostly following a few dashes, then followed by, by either shooting a bunch of bubbles or making a gigantic big whirlpool thing that's super annoying. Yeah, as you can see here, the, or how it, yeah. The bubble, yeah. After he dashes, just five or three times, depending on what fate is he is, he will, he will, that, he will fire an attack, which is either that giant tornado or bubbles that are extremely easy to dodge. So the more bubble, I've actually been getting relatively good luck with him shooting bubbles and not you know gigantic tornadoes at me. Though so when, though so when the, that does happen, though the tornado, though if you are having trouble with dodging the tornadoes, I would recommend making a three platform arena instead of the normal two platforms. See, the goal of the third platform is just to never have to use it. it it's like an emergency platform that you only use is to dissipate the, 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 the gigantic whirlpool things. Yeah, as you can see there, the... the oh! I, I, well... Great. Yeah. If I had actually... Well, I... Guess that's all I have to say for today. Maybe. So, wow. Uh, even though I died to that, that's still a pretty good example of what the fight should look like. You, don't be surprised if you... Don't be surprised if you have more of a trial and error process than I have. As I've practiced that fight very... As I've extensively practiced the fight. So even someone with a lot of experience like me... He tends to have pro will have problem with this as this is as this is definitely not for someone who want who wants an easy fight. This will this is only for people who who want an extreme challenge with massive payoff. If I'm actually surprised that I managed to get where I did on that attempt, so uh, I guess that's all I have to say for today. If you liked the video, subscribe if you think that this, this strategy could, could theoretically, if you think that this is a useful strategy, if you think that there is a much better strategy that I didn't cover, leave your opinion in the comments, and well, this is Decoy, is having a, being kind of sick.